Hello, Mr. Geiselard here, and we're going to take a look at question number five now. It says, seven married couples were seated at the first row of a small theater. If there are seven couples, there's two people per couple, so it would be seven times two, which equals 14. And again, we're going to seat all of these people. So anytime you want to arrange all of the people in a group, that's where you use factorial. So this would be 14 factorial. Next one says, how many different arrangements are possible provided that married couples sit together? Well, that one's a little bit different. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by making seven blanks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, in these blanks, we know that there are seven couples. So there's seven couples that could go here, then there's six couples that could go in the next two seats, and then there's five couples, then four couples, then three couples, then two, and then there's only one left per couple. Now, here's kind of the tricky part, though, is that each couple can be arranged in two different ways. So that means that there's two possibilities here, two possibilities here, two possibilities here, two here, two here, two here, two here. So the way we're going to need to do this is we're going to need to take seven factorial and then multiply it by two to the seventh power. And when I do that, that should give me my answer. And in this case, it ends up being six, four, five, one, two, zero. So what I basically have to do is multiply all the top numbers together and get an answer there, multiply all the bottom numbers together, get an answer there, and then multiply those two numbers together. 